Hey, what's up, ZG Crawlers and fellow Jeep Schoolers? I'm Airborne Jordan, and today I'm going to give you a tour of my Zuki Crawler. As you can see, I have this old 24-foot box truck behind me, and this is what I'm going to convert into my toy hauler. So come on, let's take a look. All right, well, to start things off, I'm just going to give you a walk-around tour of the outside of the hauler. This is a full-size shot, and you can see the windows that are installed inside of the box. All right, here's the front view. This is an International. It's a 1988, and um, I'm just going to give you a walk around with the camera. I hope it's not too shaky. Now, on the side of it is private not for hire. This was on here when I bought the truck, and somebody had already started converting it into a hauler. They said the reason they put that on there is to avoid the weight scales and commercial type stuff. This here on the side of the hauler is a water heater, which you'll see more of it on the inside. And right below the water heater is a rack. This is where you put the generator. And tucked up there is the cord that powers the inside of the hauler. I still have to get a generator. Alright, moving to the back. This is the inside. This is where I load the hall the samurai. It fits in there just perfectly with not much room to spare. And I built it that way on purpose. Coming into the inside of the back, if you look up, I've already installed some cup cabinets, a big spotlight, and that's a solid steel cabinet for putting um used or putting in extra gasoline and oil and anything that could possibly catch on fire it's concealed in a solid steel that was just my thing to be safe um, I built the wall and installed the bifolding doors when we first bought this truck it had two walls installed but they were kinda just hillbilly rigged in there to say the least and they were all the way back by the wheel wells which did not allow enough room for me to load so I had to rip those out and reconfigure the system. Now on the rest of the outside of the truck, there's another another window and the camper door on this side. It gives you access to the inside of the living area without having to try to squeeze through the back where the truck's loaded up. I installed this little nice handrail on the side because I do not have any steps below that door and it's a pretty large step up to get inside. Alright, continuing on, let's take a walk up on the inside of the hauler. I'm going to go ahead and open the living room doors here. And some of this stuff was already finished when I got it. Let's take a look down. Carpeting. This here is a couch. And if you notice underneath the couch is a blue tub and that is where the clean water goes. Clean water is for like washing dishes, taking a shower. It's nothing you'd want to drink. In the corner you see a toilet. That toilet is not installed. It's just kind of sitting there right now. It needs cleaned up and installed still. And down here is the water pump that supplies from the from the blue tank out to the sink and the shower and whatever else. I've got metal things installed in the floor and those are tables. You put metal legs in the hole and then set your table on top so you have a little dining room table. Here's the couch. It's got terrible ugly cushions on it. Um, Abby's in the process of remaking some nicer cushions. Now if you look up, there's the window. Here's the back view looking out. Now it's getting a little bit dark in here, so I hope this turns out with plenty of light. As you can see, there's some wires hanging out of the walls already. That's where I plan to install lights. I've got a track light. 
Now directly behind us, right down there in all the junk is the inside of the water heater that I showed you earlier. The gray lines are water lines. Over here we have the refrigerator. It's not installed yet either, it's just kind of sitting there. And my lights, these are just kind of temporarily rigged up. It's not going to stay there. And as you notice, I just have an extension cord with a power strip plugged in for right now. But that, of course, is going to change too. Over here we have a sink. It's full of junk, mostly my tools, screwdriver, screwdrivers, screws, liquid nails, just building supplies. But there's the sink. It does not work yet. It still needs hooked up. Below the sink you can see some of the plumbing installed. And down on the floor, that's my power inverter box. Up above that is the fuse box with two 15 amp breakers. Wiring coming out of the fuses, that's going to be a fuse box with actually like fusible links. You can pop them in and out. Now let me back up here and get a view. This area is the going up above the cab. It's a full-size mattress in our bed. Of course, that's where we sleep. I had to build this extension because the area up there was a little bit too small to fit that big mattress in. So this is all my construction work. I got a little stool to sit on and a platform to stand on, a ladder to climb up the bunk, and I attached that handrail to make it a lot easier to climb up into the bunk a, without anything to grab onto. It's a little tricky up there. And then next to the door with the bunk is the door. And I have a two-layer door here. Let's open it up and if you want to you can open this door and leave your screen door closed. Or you can just open the screen door with the door and that leads right back to the outside well I think that's basically about it for right now I still got a lot of work to do on this thing as you can see that black black tanks for the sewage that's gonna hook up to the toilet of course and gonna go underneath the truck All right, walking back out. Let's get her closed up here. All right, there you go. And so far, that is my Zuki hauler. It's definitely got a long way to go and will be in the process of building for, oh, probably years before it's finished. Who knows? And um, I'll be taking many pictures as we go along and I'll keep updating my build here. All right, well, that was about it. The tour of my Zuki hauler. Stay tuned in as I continue to build and make it become even nicer. Right now it's a piece of work, and I've got a long way to go on it. So continue to watch my build, enjoy my pictures, and feel free to leave your comments and ideas, because who knows, I just might be up to good suggestions. So till next time.